Hi, it's a little windy out today. I'm here at UCLA Santa Monica. You can kind of see the, that's the palm trees and the oceans behind me way out. It's a nice view. My new normal, um, every three weeks come to UCLA. So my hair is going crazy. Um, to get my blood draw, um, vitals taken, um, talk about my symptoms. Um, but so far treatment's been going well. So, um, you know, there's been side effects, but um, nothing I can't handle. Wow, it was very windy outside, so it's easier to be in the car um, doing a video. Um, so the update is this is, um, I got my um, round, is this round four? Round four of my um, targeted therapy on the research study that I'm at, um, I'm in at UCLA. So this is my fourth pack of pills and my fourth round and each round is three weeks. Two weeks on with the pills, one week off. So I've just finished a week off. The, the symptoms subside that I have during the week off. So um, starting tonight, I start my next round and the symptoms will kick back in. But um, the symptoms on this targeted treatment um, at the stu the, in the study that I'm at in UC at UCLA, I can't even think clearly today. I'm gonna need some food. Um, high blood pressure, um, insomnia, ringing in the ears constantly, um, calluses on the hands and foot. Uh, mouth tenderness, kind of some of the symptoms I felt in chemo a little bit, but, um, and, and low white blood count. And so far my blood work keeps showing low white blood count. So that might be why I'm having a hard time kicking this kind of cold that I have. But, um, so far so good. My next scan's in two and a half weeks and it'll be my second scan on the study. And... I'm hoping that the results continue to be good, that um, the nodules in my lungs stay stable and some more continue to die off. So that would be just wonderful news. So I'll keep everyone posted. Um, I think that's the, the gist of my update so far. Um, I'll add more later. Thanks. Hi, I'm Denise Burke. And this is my um, update on my treatment. Um, I'm in a study at UCLA um, for synovial sarcoma. And the study entails taking um, two weeks um, two weeks on and one week off. And during those two weeks on, I'm taking a pill every day. So here's my nightly routine with that. Um, I have this box and these pills. And I take one pill every night. And then um, I write down my symptoms that I had for the day. So that's my kind of research study part. Um, and my symptoms so far, this is round four of my pills. Um, my symptoms have included fatigue and blisters on my hands and foot. And um, uh, high blood pressure. My cholesterol was high too, so I'm, I'm thinking that might be part of it as well. Um, I have to take blood pressure medicine now and never had high blood pressure before. Um, let's see what else. Constipation, diarrhea, um, and constant ringing in my ears. That's fun. I don't usually notice it though until it's nighttime and I get in bed like I am now and it's quiet and then I can hear it. Um, insomnia, that's also not so fun. Um, and what else? There's other symptoms, fatigue. Um, but hey, um, it's okay. I'm fine with all the symptoms. It's um, certainly better symptoms than chemo. Um, ke the chemotherapy regimen I was on was pretty brutal. And um, I get to keep my hair. As you can tell, it's kind of growing in. That's growing in actually, it's, it's getting longer, which is nice. And 
they're livable symptoms. I mean, really livable compared to chemo. When I was undergoing chemo, I couldn't even walk around the block when I would get out of chemo. Those first couple of weeks, I couldn't drive. Um, I couldn't taste. Um, I lost my hair. Um, they shoved a ton of drugs at me to, to combat all of the side effects and my, I'm very sensitive to drugs. And so all of the side effect drugs and the chemotherapy, I was just, uh, I was just a mess. I was really sick. And anyway, so this is honestly, um, so much easier than that. In addition, um, you know, this is to help, um, keep me alive, honestly. So bring it on. I'll take the symptoms. Anyway, um, just wanted to give an update. Um, it's my nightly routine, and so as an amputee, you know, after I take my pill and write down any notes and side effects, then I take my leg off and get ready for bed. Good night. I know I've shown this before, but it's still so interesting to me that I have a leg that I take off at night. It's so crazy. And then I take off all my stuff, my my sock, my liner, as you can see, it's really pretty interesting, still, kind of, um, I can't believe it, I look down and still cannot believe it, I'm, I'm an amputee, and then I, um, you know, get my hand sanitizer, make sure I don't get, you know, make sure I keep my limb nice and, you know, bacteria free. And that's it. That's my limb. Looks pretty good, actually. I, like I said, I still look down and go, wow, I cannot believe I'm, my leg is, my foot is gone. I can't believe it. But life goes on. It really does. It's amazing. And this is my lovely raised shower seat with the handles. And it helps me at night. Um, I got it on Amazon. Super cool and turns it into a handicapped toilet. Um, I can use regular toilet seats, but for at night, this is just a lot easier for me, especially since I usually use the scooter to go to the bathroom. Um, helps make sure that I don't fall in the night. Hey again, I'm getting ready for bed, but I just wanted to kind of show my routine. So here's the kind of nice thing. That's my leg, I can kind of prop my, um, residual limb, that's what we call it, on the sink. And then I wash my liner in the sink. Um, this is the liner, the gel liner that goes over my residual limb. You can kind of see, you know, I have to put some antibacterial soap on it and then wash it down in the sink. I'll wash it a little more thoroughly when I'm off the video. Um, but it's kind of interesting how I can just prop my leg over and I took the scooter into the bathroom. So since I took my leg off, um, but I have to wash my liner, my shower liner for my shower leg and my, um, daily leg liner. Um, when the insurance allows another liner, which will be nice, then I won't have to, um, wash that same one every single day. So I have one dedicated to my shower leg, one dedicated to my, um, regular leg, and then... When I can get another liner, then um, I can kind of trade off. So that's my nightly routine. And I can sit and uh, take off my makeup and brush my teeth with my leg kind of propped up over the sink so that it kind of anchors me. And I don't have to just um, balance completely on one leg.